Today I am here to show you that how to find SQL injection and how to exploit it in a good way. You know there are two main types of SQL injection in this industry. One day is called the error based SQL injection and the second one is the blind SQL injection. If you don't know about what is blind SQL injection and what is error based SQL injection you just have to know to this awesome lab which is blind SQL injection and there is also a couple of labs of SQL injection vulnerability which is you know simulated by the Port Swinger Academy uh, in order to search you just have to search Port Swinger uh, SQL injection labs and you will find all the labs of the SQL injections right concept behind SQL injection is that an attacker injects a malicious code which executed to the backend database the database could be oracle mysql or whatever and it results in the leakage of the data that is harmful for the you know organization and for the website is and itself so today we are going to see how we can you know find the error based sql injection so in order to find the error based SQL injection, there is a Google Doc which is called in URL PHP slash IMD. I am used this you know query or this Google Doc and there is a bunch of you know websites which may be vulnerable and may not be vulnerable for SQL injection vulnerabilities. Let's say if we are going to move this website. So what we are going to do, we just have to specify our single character and order to search that is it vulnerable or not if it gives us the mysql you know error here it is saying that the warning mysql num rows deep and term mysql shows that it is vulnerable to the sql injection vulnerability right so in this, in this way you can exploit it further and you can see how we can exploit it more right so the next thing what we are going to do uh, we are going to see how blind SQL injection works this is error based SQL injection there is also a tool called uh, you know the SRF map sorry the SQL map the SQL map which is a very good tool and there is another tool which is called uh, the Ori and let's say we are going to install this tool as well and install this tool as well in order to exploit the SQL injection vulnerability, right? So first what we are, what we are going to do, we just have to move our KT birth suite and in order to confirm that this, is, this vulnerability exists, what we are going to do, we are going to refresh this and capture the request right there so that we can take a better look at there and have my proxies on and I have hit it and there we go this is not the request and this is the request I am going to send it to the Twitter and forwarding the request and here we are going to see if I hit you know the send there is no SQL tag is going to be represented at there right focus on this area type SQL and after that enter a single code and send the request if the SQL word matches in the response it means that there is an SQL injection vulnerability you have to search for it and you have to do more work about this right so in this way you can escalate this and there is a bunch of other methods to escalate this but I am not going to uh, move further and here I will show you that how blind SQL injection vulnerability works. At the lab, we are going to accessing our blind SQL injection lab. And if you don't know about what is blind SQL injection, blind SQL injection is a technique in which hacker injects their malicious codes, but there will be no output. There will be no output data shown in the response. In that way, the attacker will find a way in order to extract the data by tools like uh, you know SQL map now what we are going to see we are going to access the lab 
and after that we will try to perform in the lab and solve this and see how blind SQL injection uh, vulnerability you can detect and you can exploit it further right this is our main agenda I will try my best I will try my best to give you a good understanding how we can and how we can exploit this vulnerability now here you can see uh, there is a bunch of you know, options in this in this step what we are going to do we just have to click you know all of them one by one before that I am going to capture uh, the proxy capture the traffic by proxy and it intercept is on and after that click clothing shoes and accessories and whatever you want to click it doesn't matter so set this to repeater this is this was the not and this was the request send this to the repeater and after that send it and then to the repeater here you will try each and every you know the parameters in order to search which parameter is vulnerable for the yes, uh, for the time based speed injection right so in order to confirm that what we are going to do we are going to try uh, first you know tracking id cookie which may be vulnerable for the sql injection vulnerability so now what we are going to do we are just going to send it to the intruder add here clear this and select this and after that hit add and go to the resource pool and you have to create a resource pool custom resource pool which is this if you don't know how to create it you just have to come here here you can type my own or whatever my own pool and after that you will set the delay between the request there should be some sort of delay like if i am going to give all of these you know payloads if i am going to give all of these payloads these will uh, try to make sleep the database right if the database is going to respond after five seconds after 5 seconds so the other request will not get executed after 5 seconds right so first what we are going to do first we will send the request and we will wait if it is sleeping 5 seconds if the database is sleeping for the 5 seconds we will uh, take, uh, take a break and after that we will try to send the next request right in order to confirm that our attack is working proper, properly so here I have I set it, you know, the name between the request is 606 means 606 milliseconds should be delayed with each request and after that here I am going to I have already selected, now I have already a custom resource one now what I am going to do, I am going to move to the payload section and here I will paste all the payloads but I to make sure this URL encoded this script work should be enabled this is necessary for you know exploiting SQL injection vulnerability because when you are injecting your payload this is necessary that you are encoding your payloads in a way like URL encodation so that the basic filters did not detect that this is an SQL injection right there, and there are some sort of filtration if you uh, if you, you know not URL encode this thing right so here I am going to start that attack and the most important thing that uh, the big hunters and the plot of hunters uh, don't know click on the column and here will be uh, an option called response completed this will show you the time how many how many seconds your response has has been returned you know how many seconds it has taken to return a response right so here, here it is here you can see that there is uh, 220 and there is a bunch of you know responses but we are when we are interested in 5000 response right because in every payload we have used the sleep files sleep files sleep files if it executes then it will make sure that that it will make sure that there is a delay of 5 seconds right 5 seconds and 5000 milliseconds if it happens, it means that it's vulnerable. Otherwise, we have to craft our payloads. But here, I know that because this, uh, you know, parameter is vulnerable. 
but and the problem is in with our payloads so in order to do that what we are going to do we are just going to uh, you know take the payload of the actual lab which is this one and here in this you know payload you will see that there is here you can see there is a sleep command of 10 second 10 second mean it will sleep for the 10,000 millisecond right if it successfully you know sleep for 10,000 millisecond then we are able to execute this command success you know then this is vulnerable for the blind SQL injection we are going to enter this as well in the payload list so that this can be executed again now I am going to start again now start it again and here I am going to select again the you know column option and a response completed and here you can see this is showing us the responses so that we can make the backend server sleep for the uh, 10,000 millisecond or 10 sec. If we have successfully executed the response completed would be 10,000 millisecond. It means that we have successfully launched our attack.